This challenge is an introduction to loops. There are four examples with increasing difficulty, including loops and loops. I'll make loops to move the sprite on a stage and change the sprite's color, then finish with loops to play piano and drum. I'll go through the first couple of examples in a lot of detail. First, I'll need a couple commands for my loop. I'll go to the looks palette, get the say command, and the think command. The say command displays the message for the given number of seconds. When I click on this, hello is displayed for two seconds and disappears. One more time, hello for two seconds and disappears. Notice I didn't get any sound. I'll play with sounds very shortly. The think command is very similar to the say command. The think command displays the message in a bubble for the given number of seconds. When I click on think, it displays hmm for two seconds in a bubble and disappears. One more time, hmm for two seconds and disappears. Keep in mind Scratch has help information for all the commands. When I click on the block help, the cursor changes to a question mark. Click on a command block and the help appears on the right. Displays the information about the command, an example with animation, along with additional information about the command. I can do the same thing for the think block. Block help, think. I get a description of the command, an example with animation, and additional information about the command. I can also look at information about all the commands. Click on all tips. And from here I can look at the information about any of the commands. I'm finished, so I'll click on the X to close it. Now back to my example. I want to run think three times. I can get a think a couple more times. Click on it. It displays hmm for six seconds, but I can't tell when a command ends and when a command begins. It's easy to get past that. Click on the control palette. I'll use the wait command in between the commands. Now it'll think for two seconds and wait, think for two seconds and wait, think for two seconds. I'll click on it. it displays hmm for two seconds and waits, hmm for two seconds and waits, hmm for two seconds and finished. I don't have to have three copies of the think command to get it to run three times. I'll break this off, get rid of it. I'll use the repeat loop. Notice how the repeat loop opens around the commands. Drop it. Now they're all together. I'll change the 10 to a 3. 3. When I click on the repeat loop, it'll think for two seconds and wait and do this three times. I'll do that. Think for two seconds and wait. Second time. Think for two seconds and wait. Third time. Think for two seconds. Wait. And it's finished. To make it a little bit easier to see when the loop begins and ends, I'll put say blocks at the beginning and the end. Copy the say, add it to the end, bring this one to the beginning. I'll change the say at the end to say bye instead of hello. Finally, to run my program, I'll go to events and get when the green flag is clicked event handler. Now when I click on the green flag, the commands will run. Say hello for two seconds. Now think for two seconds and wait. Second time, think for two seconds and wait. Third time, think for two seconds and wait. Comes out, it runs by, it's done. I'm finished with the blocks in this example now. I'd like to save them. I'll shrink the stage, break them off, put them over on the side, put the stage back to its regular size, and I'm ready for my next example. For this example, I want to change the cat's costume. I'll click on the Costumes tab. I can see the cat has two costumes, costume 1 and costume 2. Notice that the costumes have numbers 1 and 2 also. If I click on the different costumes, it looks like the cat is hopping or skipping along. I can do the same thing from the scripts. Back to the scripts area, go to the looks palette. Here's the next costume command. When I click on next costume, the cat's costume changes. Keep clicking on it and it keeps changing. Instead of a bunch of clicks, I can use the repeat command. I'll change the 10 to a 4. And to make it a little more interesting, go to motion. How about move? I'll use move, change the 10 to 2, 5, 25. This will repeat next costume and move four times. That'll go pretty quickly. Go to the control palette, get a wait command. I'll change the 1 to a 3 for 3 seconds. Attach it. Now it's ready to run. I'll click on the green flag. Get the next costume, move, wait. 
Second time, next costume, move waiting. Third time, next costume, move waiting. And the last time, next costume, move waiting. And finished. To make it a little bit easier to see when it's finished, I'll go to the sound palette. And at the end, I'll have the cat make a meow sound. This will play the meow sound after it's done. Then it'll be ready to perform any commands that were after it. I'll move the cat back to the middle. Click on the green flag. See the next costume, move and wait. Second time waiting. Third time waiting. And the last time waiting. And the meow sound and done. I'm finished with this example. I want to save the commands. I'll shrink the stage, break them off, drop them on the end, get the stage back to the regular size. I'll move the cat back to the middle. Now I'm ready for the next example. I want to change the cat's color. Go to the looks palette. I can get the change color effect. The change effect changes different kinds of effects. I'll use color for now. I'll look at the other effects and other challenges. When I click on change color effect, the cat's color changes. I'll click on it a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Now the cat's back to its original color. I can use a loop to do that. Go to control, repeat. That was eight clicks. I'll change the 10 to an eight. And to slow it down a little bit, I'll add a weight. To make it a little more interesting, I'll add a move after all of that. Change the 10 to a 25. Attach it. Now it's ready for the green flag. I'll click on the green flag. It'll change the color every second eight times. Keeps going back around. Then moves 25 steps. Now the cat's back to the original color. If I wanted to, I could do all of this a couple more times. Go to the control palette. Get the repeat loop. Watch the jaws open around all of it. See the white highlight. I'll drop it in. Change the 10 to a 2. So now for two times, it'll cycle through the cat's colors and move. So it'll change the cat's color and move, and change the cat's color and move. I'll click on the green flag, changing the cat's color for the first loop inside. Coming back to the original color, then move. Second time, changing the cat's color, move, and it's finished. I'm finished with these command blocks. I'll save them with the other ones, break it off, drop it over, get the stage back to the original size, and I'm ready for my final example. For this last example, I like to play a little melody. Click on the sound palette. I'll get the play note command. The play note command plays the note for the number of beats. The beat is determined by the tempo. Here's the set tempo command. I'll add it. Right now the tempo is set to 60 beats per minute. To make this a little bit easier, I'll change the half beat to 1. One beat will play for one second when the tempo is at 60. I'll attach it and run it. I hear the note for a second. I can make it play a little faster. Click on the 60 in the set tempo command and I'll change it to 100. 100. Zero, zero. Now when I click on the green flag, it plays a little faster. Now I want to make my melody. I'll copy play note. Copy it again so I have four. When I copy from here, it copies the next three notes from the bottom. Duplicate. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now for my melody, well, I have a C. I'll make the next one an E. Then I'll make a G. After the G, a high C. After the high C, I'll go back down, play an A. The next one, go back down to an E. And I'll leave this at C. When I play it, okay, that was seven beats. I'll change 69 to A. I'll change it to two beats. And I want to play this three times. I'll go to the control palette, repeat loop. Jaws open around the blocks. Now my melody's inside the loop. Change the 10 to a 3. It's ready to play. 
I click on the green flag. One, two. Second time. Last time. And finished. I want to add a little ending to that. I'll copy three notes. Duplicate. I have eight beats up here. Two. I'll change this one to two. That's four. I'll change the last one to four, so that'll give me eight. I'll change the melody a little bit here. Back down the middle C. I'll drop down A here. Go back up. A little above middle C. How about here? And then middle C. Now I'll try my song. Second time. Third time. And out. Three, four. I like that. I'll repeat it a second time. Get a repeat loop. Jaws open up. Drop it. Now it'll play the melody ten times, but I want two times. Click on the ten, two. Now when I run it, it'll play my melody twice. Click on the green flag. Second time. Last time. And now one more time. First time in the inner loop, second time, and finished. I'll save this. Now I'll play with the drum. Back to the sound palette, play drum. Beats can get a little confusing. Beats refers to the tempo, not the drum beat just as beats refer to tempo in the play note block. I'll change the quarter to one. Get a few more drum beats. Duplicate. Duplicate, I want five. I'll do that. I have five beats here. I want as many beats in the tempo as I have in the inner loop of my melody where I have eight. Change the one to two. Next one to two. How about the last one? Now I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight beats, just as many beats as in the inner loop. So the drum playing will be just as long as the inner loop. I'll play it. One, 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 two. And it's finished. I want to play it three times. Repeat. Change the 10 to a three. Same as the melody. Duplicate. Change this rhythm a little bit. Change the first two to a one. Keep it at eight. I'll change this one to a two. Don't get worried about all the beats. Just trying to show a nice example with a melody and drum. I'll attach it to the green flag. To make this play as long as the melody plays, I'll need an outer loop. Repeat, two. Change the 10 to a two. It also plays as long as the melody does. To show something a little more interesting, I'll move the tempo out of the way. Back to events. Get another event handler for when the green flag's clicked. When I click on the green flag, both of these event handlers will start at the same time. The drum will play at the same time as the piano. Tempo's already been set to 100. We'll talk about initialization and other challenges. I'll click the green flag to play the melody. Second time, third time, now the second time for all of it, now I'm looking at the drum, second time, third time. finish with the four examples now. 
Don't worry if the piano and drum example is too tricky right now. You don't need to fully understand it to continue the scratch challenges, but it is important you get experience playing with the loops. I encourage you to work with the examples and understand how a loop works. In a future challenge, I'll have more repeat examples, and I'll explore the forever loop and the repeat until loop. Have fun with the examples. <laughs>